Hi everyone, I'm Walter Leal and I will be your instructor for BIS 102 Section 3. Our BIS 102 team includes TA Chiara Giordani and the reader Leilani Jones who took this class in 2017. Our team is fully committed to helping you succeed. But remember that most of the effort must come in from you. If you are on the wait list for this class, I'm trying to find ways and means to admit you all. I can't promise, but I'm doing my best. On the first day of class, I will share details on how to succeed in this class. My most important message is not to let the material accumulate. Come to class, attend as many office hours as possible, and take advantage of extra credit opportunities and all the extra material I offer throughout the quarter. The material unique to this class includes e-solutions and e-clarifications. After the first two lectures, I will be assigned problems. I will call them e-problems. I will let you work by yourself, and then I will provide the e-solutions. Stay tuned for more details. The most challenging part of this class is the first midterm. Students let the material accumulate and it's almost impossible to catch up at the 11th hour. Keep your work on these assignment problems. They are your study guide. Speaking of midterms, we would have two midterms in the final exam. Midterm one would be on Tuesday January 31st, the last day of the month, needless to say that the exams are at the same time in the same location as class. Midterm 2 would be on Thursday, February 23rd. As you know, the Registrar Office has scheduled the final exam for March 24 at 10.30 a.m. Lectures and exams are in Git Hall, 1002. Lectures are on Tuesday and the Thursdays from 12.10 to 1.30 p.m. I have only a narrow window between the previous class and the hours to install all my equipment. Usually I bring a lot of instruments to class, including two computers, an iPad, multiple cameras and microphones, etc. It takes time to have everything work so I ask you not to come to the podium before class starts. After class, I will collect my equipment and it will be available for you as long as you need, particularly if you move to the hallway so the next instructor has time to prepare the room. My office hours will be on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Normally, 20, 30, 50 students, sometimes more than 100 students come to my office hours. It isn't easy to find a room to accommodate everyone. Therefore, I'll be offering office hours via Zoom, and I'll record the office hour and make available to everyone else who could not attend. I strongly encourage you to attend Chiara's office hours as well. We will inform you of the dates and the times for Kiara's uh, office hours at a later time. I have been working hard and con you continue working hard to throughout the break, preparing material for this class. As soon as possible, I will publish the course on Canvas. There is no required textbook. We will be solving problems for Siegel biochemical calculations. I am making videos of the problems I assign, so you have what you need from this book on Canvas. I want to reiterate that participation is essential in this class. And it is the standard slide for the course will be posted on Canvas before each lecture. After each lecture, I will plan to post a podcast as close as possible to attend the lecture in person. That's why I needed to bring lots of equipment to class. It might take a day or two to process the material for each lecture, 
before I can upload it on Canvas. Let's talk about extra credits. As part of my other faculty responsibilities, I'm organizing a new Emeriti Distinguished Lecture Series to celebrate the accomplishments of our colleagues who retired this year. The winter lecture by distinguished professor Gerard Vermeij promised to be attractive to students, staff, faculty, and the public. Dr. Vermeij has been blind since the age of three. He graduated from Princeton, got his PhD from Yale, and joined the UC Davis faculty in 1989. He's an outstanding scholar. Therefore, I want to give you all an opportunity to attend his lecture on the evolution of power for extra credit. Because of city limitations, we will also be streaming Dr. Vermeer's lectures via Zoom. I suggest that you register for the Zoom call as soon as possible. Again, registration is required. I will try to secure seats for the first 20 or 30 students who register, but everyone who attend in person or via Zoom will receive extra cred. Please use the QR code on the screen to register. If you want to watch a preview of his lecture, please use the blue QR code. Dr. Vermeer's lecture will be on Wednesday, February 15th, at 3 p.m. I will not be offering office hour that day. I do hope you do well in this class, and I look forward to see you all at the beginning of the new year. Until then, happy holidays!